What is up everyone, this is Deluxe Storm. Thank you for dropping back into uh, another video of Keepers of the Dark. In the last video, we took down Zook in this area, and I told you guys there's gonna be a part, there's gonna be a part two to this area. Due to, I didn't wanna make the video too long. I wanna keep it short and in easily enjoyable. But anyway, we're gonna head down to this graveyard over here, which is probably one of the better ideas I've ever had. Not really. I do not like the fact there's already a blue tent. Oh, here we go. Cool, in concert, bigger, faster, louder. So, apparently a teenager that had, like, the state of his family decided to collect remnants of a band where the music actually made, like, a lot of stuff for him. I don't know how I'm wording that sentence, but basically he was obsessed with the music. Oh, there we go. What we got going on here? Give me that flying V. I do not like the look of this. Is it a helmet? What the heck, dude? An abacus. If you don't know what an abacus is, basically it is a tool that's used for measurement or calculating. Okay. Let's see what the journal has got to tell me or the update files. The ghost can no more claim the heads. The caretaker mentioned something about a creepy giant head. No. It seems to have been possibly above. There's nothing I can do for now. What? There's nothing I do here? Well, um, this is the video. There's nothing I can do here, apparently. Alright, we're gonna get teleport to the next room and for too much running. But I'm Linda. I always keep running. Telaga Enker. Okay. Um, guess we're going dead straight ahead. And using the term dead straight ahead is probably not a good thing. Okay. We're not. All right, where are the rats running from? What in the heck? The hell is this? Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Gramophone hand, all right, cool. The hell? <laughs> if that isn't what nightmares are made of, I don't know what to tell you what is. Seriously. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, there's smoke over there. Yeah. So I'm literally in a labyrinth of a maze and a sewer. Nice! No oh, man, rats are running from this area. So anyway, um, thank God I don't have claustrophobia. But I don't know if anybody really gets 
claustrophobic playing games. Alright, so we got that right there. What in the... The hell is that? Come here. I need you for my photography class. That thing hauls ass, doesn't it? Okay, so how to know I'm stupid? I'm chasing after a goat. Okay. Probably not the wisest idea right now. Let's go ahead and head back. Let's see what he was protecting. Wow, I just got like blocked by a rat. Let's go grab the needle. Ooh. Oh, well, um, Is there something supposed to be done here? I wonder if this is supposed to be like a boss room and I'm supposed to come back here at some point. This would be like the ideal place to have a rave though. I thought this would do it. He parted too hard. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I know this episode might not be that and like entertaining, but it's one of those kind of games. It's an exploration kind of game. You gotta go all around the area to find stuff. Unless you're one of those people that just look up, like you watch it, then you do it yourself, and then you cut to all the meaty stuff. I'm alone in a sewer by myself. Well, technically not by myself, because there is a dog, half human, half thing crawling through the sewer pipes. Okay, so the babies are right there. We already went here. Hey, babies. Where's your mom? Okay, cool. Got it. What kind of ghost is that anyway? Check the ghostopedia. Devarader. That is actually kind of creepy looking. The hell. Devarador is a demon shaped like a deformed canine. Once a human, he was once a human being without the consciousness of one. He derived pleasure from mistreating animals, especially dogs. It's possible that his habit stems from the abuse he endured from his father during childhood. One night he decided to steal one of his neighbor's pets, a Labrador dog, as like what he did to other dogs he tortured. He threw this one into a pit near an, an, near an, an vacant lot in his neighborhood. God, freaking tongue ties. I don't read much, I'm sorry. He would let the dog die of starvation as he checks on it every night. What? 
The dog owner had found out and met up with him, and a brawl ensued by irony of fate. He fell inside the same pit through dogs, and the last dog he threw in was still alive. With his spirits, attacked its captor and devoured his face. The dog owner saved his pet and left him to die in it. Ooh. So he's literally a ghost. Okay, so we have some kind of weird battle music going on. I really don't like the fact there's like this weird music playing after I've already got rid of the ghost. Cause it's like so I know something else is probably coming for me at this point. Alright, what's this? Dance performance flyer. Oh cool. the hell <laughs> get away from me get away from me dude I'm stuck come on land up oh crap I'm actually stuck against that wall Linda, Linda, let's go. Get up, get up, come on, get up. Just take another picture. I gotta get him distance between myself and that thing. Uh, and I'm dead. It's always nice when something big comes down chasing you. Oh my god, Linda! Holy shit, are we really gonna do this? Oh, nice. I'm stuck. I mean, I can't even get past this thing. Holy fucking shit, dude. Okay, there we go. We got it. Oh, we're gonna chase after it. I don't know about you guys. We're gonna take that thing down. There can only be one Q Nine Tails, and you aren't Q. I swear someone's gonna be like, why are you chasing after something that could kill you? And the question that answers that is why not? Let's see what kind of files we got. Um Dancer Performance Flyer. Okay, so Linda's notes. These students must have different kinds of place. Colonial sewer, the furry monster looks like it's retreating somewhere. Oh, it went to that red room. Crap. Isn't that technically a name? Like, it's called Kasuni, right? For a demon dog. Look at that face. That's a crab nightmare to made out of. What? It 
one missed, and then I got hit. Oh my god, are we really going to do this? Come on, run away from it. Let's go, let's go. Come on, move it. Makes like next to no sense of a boss for me. Run, run, run. Wow. Oh, nice. I'm inside of it. Run, run. What? Oh my Jesus Christ. Seriously, some of the boss's mechanics in this game are so stupid. I fucking Christ, Linda. Learn to dodge for once. Fucking hell, dude. Did the boxes move up here? Like nothing I can really do. Give up. Just lay down. Go out peacefully. was the worst boss fight I've encountered so far. I mean, shit. This is going to be fun editing because I raged. Anyway, guys, this is Deadlock Storm. I hope you guys liked this video. I'm sorry for raging and screaming. But anyway, I will see you all in the next video. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, this is Deadlock signing off. If you want to subscribe today, lock into the subscription button, drop a nuke on it, and I will see you all later.